that's also another reason why I'm so interested to, to come here to, to China, to Asia and just make new connections. Hi, Mr. Stefan. Thanks for taking an interview with Stukas Copy TV. So why do you come to Shanghai this time? Um, I just wrote a piece for a, a friend of mine, a clarinetist, um, Irene Chen, and she is actually from Taiwan. And uh, we had uh, basically the world premiere of this piece last week. And then I thought, well, once I make my way to, uh, to Taiwan or all the way to Asia, why not having uh, uh, more concerts? So um, I contacted uh, the Swiss Embassy in Beijing and they were very helpful and gave us more contacts. So we ended up having a, a concert in Shanghai and we will also have another one next week in Beijing. How do you feel about the Chinese music industry? Um, it's, it's something very, as I said, very unknown to, to us in, in, in the West. We just know that China is where everything happens. The, the Chinese are, you know, around the world now. Um, Chinese are buying companies around the world, and it's clearly the clearly uh, the, the future clearly uh, belongs to China. So I think it's it's just natural for for us artists that we are trying to uh, to make connections with uh, with China as well. And and um, for me, it's it's a, it's a big opportunity to just to get to know different cultures, uh, different ways of of doing things, and. It's just very, very exciting times, I think. So let's go back to the song. Do you prefer to write a song by inspiration or, or you think technique is more important? Hmm. Well, uh, I mean, you know, these days we have, as you just pointed out, we have lots of, of technical um, helpers, in, if you want, in place. We have computers, we, have, uh, we can record everything on, on our... Um, uh, smartphones, we, we can even generate orchestral instruments by just playing on our keyboards and it sounds like a full orchestra. So there's lots of help in, in place and uh, I think especially when, when you're younger it, it's, very, it's very exciting to do things. But the older I get, the, the more I realize uh, when it comes to art, it's really about the inspiration about the craft and I'm more and more going back to the very basic composition in my case. I'm sitting at the piano, I'm using pen and paper mm. and, and I do it like people probably did it 200 years ago. And then later on I use the technology to, to produce the, the parts and the scores for, for the orchestra. So I'm kind of working hand in hand. Do you think it is important to connect music with your audience? I think this is very important and uh, this is also a bit of a, of a problem of, of us composers because uh, when you play an instrument, the piano or the clarinet, you, you're constantly on a stage. You, people see your face and they know your name and you get around. And as a composer, we, we spend most of our time alone at the piano for you know for weeks for months we don't speak with with other people and then you have a premiere you show your face and that was it so I think it's for me very important to, to go out to to show my face to to connect with people and that's also another reason why I'm so interested to to come here to to China to Asia and just make new connections so tell me the possibility of uh, the connection between Eastern music and Western music, please. Well, in our globalized world, it's just uh, it has become very easy to, uh, to, yeah, to, to travel around, to share ideas. And I think t we are only at the beginning now, but I see a huge potential how we can collaborate, I mean, be it with Chinese musicians coming to, to, to the West and, and showcase their music or we Westerners going, coming here and, and, and showing our ways and, and, and also connect and, and maybe create uh, something new. This I find very 
exciting, but I think it's also very important because we live in quite um, interesting uh, political times, you know, views get more extreme and we, we always feel that we are uh, on, on the verge of, of, of some wars breaking out. So I think music or arts in general is a way to, to connect people and, and make people think about what is going on and maybe we can change something and very idealistically <laughs> create a better, a better world for, for all of us. So you believe the music around the world can connect and it is necessary? It must happen in the future? Definitely, it, it must happen. Yeah, people need to communicate. Although we, we've never had better possibilities in communicating with our smartphones again, I think we, we don't really listen to each other anymore. We're too concerned <laughs> with our, our gadgets and there's nothing like a face-to-face -face, uh, conversation. All right, tell us your future plan, please. Uh, my future plans are quite exciting. Um, I've been living in, in London for the past 12 years mm -hmm. and I'm just uh, about to move back to, to Switzerland in September. So now I'm kind of in between just traveling for four weeks and then I will go back once again to London and then in mid-September I will move to Bern where I will start a new life and hopefully keep doing the same thing, um, composing, traveling, getting my music played, collaborate with, with other musicians. Yeah. Okay, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much. To make sure you don't miss out on more videos, subscribe to Duke of Scotty Stars. And to keep watching celebrity interviews, click here.